Hey everybody, welcome to another video review by CigarFellas.com. My name is Brent. I'm going to be doing your review today. And um, today we are going to be doing the Viaje Skull and Bones Fat Man. Um, I got these a couple of days ago uh, in the mail. Um, so I know who they came from. So uh, I am sh quite sure that... Uh, his humidor is uh, right where it needs to be. Um, initial looks at this, um, toothy, um, nice and shiny, smooth. Um, you know, this is double capped. So um, I'm going to have to cut both ends. Um, the smell is very chocolatey. Very, very, very chocolatey. It's amazing. Like, I'm actually really shocked because this is the first, uh, first skull and bones that I've ever had that's um, been extremely chocolatey. Um, for for this review, um, I was gonna say I'm gonna pull these bands off, but they they got tight right there, so I'm gonna leave those there now. Um, so let's go ahead and. Uh, A little bit of bitterness on the, uh, the cap there, but let's go ahead and uh, give these a cut. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use something different because I'm gonna cut both ends. I'm gonna use my my Zycar um, just to, just to barely shave the end off this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut us a nice fire fire pit. Um, cold draw, um, pepper, um, and a little bit of chocolate. Really weird mixture. Can't explain it. Could just be because I'm smelling it. But uh, draw is good. Not any big deal with that. And um, I did decide also today that um, a lot of you haven't seen me do this, but I am going to use some matches today to um, to light this. Uh, I'm also not going to char the foot. <clears throat> Don't ask me why. I just have this idea that I'm not going to char a foot today. That I'm basically just going to just going to fire it up. Um, you know, once again, it kind of goes back to my hey, whatever you like thing. You know, so. It's amazing how long you keep those matches lit. First puff on this, first retro hail. Boy, that's full body. That is, uh, Definitely a full body. That's um, nice and strong. Um, got some good pepper to it. This is right up my alley. This is what I like. This is what I. This is what I generally look for.
Yeah, it's just delicious so far. So let me get a little bit into this, and uh, we'll come back and we'll share uh, some of these thoughts that uh, that I get out of this uh, with you. All right. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so uh, we're about till a third into this cigar, and um, the flavors are very. Uh, if you've ever had a Viaje Zombie, this would be the little brother. Um, it's got that same makeup. You can see this ash is just so dark. I mean, it's it's black and dark gray and. Hardly any white in it. The uh, the smoke is just the retro hill and the and the and the smoke itself is just very woodsy, um, full of nicotine, full of just powerful. You know, I mean, this is definitely a beefy, beefy cigar. Um, it's it's good. I mean, I like it. It's the style that I care for. Um, it's not spicy like a, uh, you know, like a real strong peppery flavor. It's uh, it's like a dry spice. It's um, it's almost like a uh, spicy wood, and uh, it's good. I mean, it's, if this is what you're looking for, um, I would definitely recommend if you are a full-body cigar smoker, um, try to get a hold of a few of these, you know. I mean, obviously, these are from last year, um, but, you know, they're still around. You could still find them at certain places. You know, your friends may have some, uh, you know, some of the um, um, forums that are out there that have, you know, wine-to-buy sections, wine-to-sell sections. People are still getting rid of them. They're still moving around. Um, but uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there was 125 boxes of these made. Um, and there were 25 per box. It was either 125 or 150 boxes. Um, so, you know, they are kind of limited. So if you're thinking about getting them, now would be a great time to go ahead and, you know, and find these. Um, I picked up a five-pack. And, uh, you know, I, I generally will smoke one about every every six months or so so I've probably got the next uh, two years covered two and a half years I guess but um, construction's good burn is great um, I am in my basement today I do have a fan running um, I just do that just to circulate the air into the purifier um, but all in all good smoke so we'll go ahead and take a break. I'm going to get this thing down to, uh, you know, my last third, and uh, we'll talk about it again. All right, everybody. So uh, we're down to about the last third here. And um, I actually had to relight. Um, the ash held so well, and um, <clears throat> I set it down for a moment, and uh, actually I had to relight it, which um, I was kind of shocked at. Um, I didn't think that I'd set it down as long as I did, but eh, still, not not bad. Uh, didn't really. I lit it with a soft flame lighter, um, but uh, flavors are still the same. Um, woodsy, kind of a kind of a like a spicy wood again. Um, not getting a lot of cocoa out of this. Um, as much as it kind of smells like cocoa, um, I'm just not getting a lot. The aroma's good. Retrohale is smooth. Um, it's just, it's very full-bodied. Um, you know, another great Viaje. Um, haven't had a Viaje I didn't like yet. Um, and I would assume that the majority of people out there that do smoke Viaje have probably found the exact same thing, not one that they generally uh, don't really care for. Um, the, uh, the ash is still just beat dark. Like I said, it, it really does remind me of a zombie. Um, if you haven't had a zombie, um, these are both cigars that you 
definitely have to eat before you smoke. Um, I did eat um, because I could totally see this making you a little sick to your stomach uh, if you didn't uh, eat. Um, nicotine's not a real issue. Um, and you know, and a lot of people out there, I guess everybody's different. It depends upon your nicotine tolerance. Um, I chewed tobacco for 26 years, um, so my body's very accustomed to nicotine. Uh, it's not something that generally I get uh, real lightheaded or sick off of, unless I'm on an empty stomach, but. Just a really, really good cigar. Um, almost to the point where I wish they made more of these so that I could continue to smoke them on a daily basis. Um, and, and actually, they do. They do release the uh, Skull and Bone series, um, you know, yearly. So, you know, you, you can actually get uh, quite a bit um, of Skull and Bones. I mean, especially, you know, if you stay on top of it, buy a box or two. Um, I did not buy a box of the uh, Fat Man or the Little Boys this year. Um, but... Uh, I almost wish I had, and uh, if one does come available, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Um, but uh, outside of that, um, another great Viaje cigar. If you're into Viaje cigars, I definitely recommend that you follow them um, through their website. Um, oh, I guess if I had to get, I would just say Google Viaje. I can't recall the website off the top of my head, and I'm not sure if it's Viaje.com or if it's ViajeCigars.com. Um, but uh, I would definitely recommend follow their website, follow them on Facebook, because Facebook's generally where um, uh, Mr. Fargus will actually um, post uh, when they're being released and who they're going to be going to. Um, outside of that, uh, continue to follow us at www.cigarfellas.com. Uh, continue to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. And uh, follow us on Twitter at cigarfellas. And until next time, with our next review, I'm Brent, and I'll see you guys soon.